Are you wanting to start your own Christmas cards this year, but maybe you feel stuck and need some ideas? Today I'm going to show you how you can create a fun, fancy shaped card using a sleigh. We'll pack it with some gifts, use some poinsettias as accents, and embellish it with some glistening white glue with glitter. You're going to love this and so will your friends and family. So join me, we'll learn these techniques together using the products from the Celebrate the Season collection. To get started, you're going to create the base of this card. So to do that, you'll want to pull out your ornate sleigh and presents die. And I took a 65 pound cardstock and folded it in half. I just made sure that it was bigger than the sleigh. And I'll push it so that this die blade is a little bit off the edge of the fold so we don't accidentally cut that base apart. So we'll put a piece of tape to kind of hold that into place and then we'll run this through the machine. You can use whichever manual die cutting machine you have. I like to put an extra piece of cardstock on top to make that a little bit thicker so that you have um, a little bit more pressure with the blades when it runs through your machine. Um, so I'm just running this through twice to make sure that everything is cut out. So you can flip it around and see that everything is cut out very well. And then we'll just release this from the die. So I'll pull everything off and this will give you the base so that you can add your stamped image that is already cut out. I stamped this image with the ornate sleigh and then cut it out with a coordinating die. So to attach that we'll just use oops, um, the dries clear glue and add that to the card base front. So just quickly add some glue to that. Attach that to the sleigh and you have the card base that is ready to be embellished. Just make sure that everything lines up properly and you're good to go. For the embellishments for the sleigh, I stamped the poinsettia with a holly leaf and cut it out with a coordinating die. Um, and to color this, it's quick and easy. I chose to use the Wisteria chalk ink, so you can just kind of go in a circular motion right there in the center. You can make it as light or as dark as you like. And I also wanted to show you how I colored the gifts within this collection too. So you can just kind of dab in with your um, Dove blender pen and just kind of add some coloring to the ribbon and you have some quick accents that you can add to this um, sleigh. So there's fun embellishments to work with within the Celebrate the Season collection, which I absolutely love. So I'll just finish um, the coloring of this present and then we're ready for the fun shaping after we've colored um, the ivy. I used the New Sprout Memento ink and just gave some quick light coloring and then edged it with a teal zeal, which is the same color that I added to the sleigh base. So that's just kind of a fun accent. Um, so what you're gonna do next to shape these is I like to spray a little bit of water on the back of my poinsettia so that it gives a little bit more of a textured effect. And once it's stiff, it, or once it's dry, it will be very stiff. So you use the three millimeter tip, you put this down on your mat, and then just press down and just kind of tap, tap all the way to the center. And you see how that is just instantly just kind of shaping up and looking more realistic. Just press down in the center to shape the holly leaves. You do the same thing. So if you use a very narrow tip, this will allow you to create beautiful dimension with these small embellishments. So once you've done this, you're ready to glue these together. And then these will be the accents that can be added to your Christmas sleigh. So to achieve the snowy look, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you want to use the dries white adhesive. That does not dry clear, so that will allow you to get a very natural 
white snowy look. So we're just going to add a little bit of glue lines at the base of the sleigh. And you can make it a little bit thicker so it's a little bit puffier. And you can add as much or as little as you want. Um, the other thing that I did is just sprinkled some glitter over the top. So that's quick and easy. You'll see that beautiful glitter on there. And then for some of the gift packages within the sleigh, I also added accents of that white glue. So you can just do quick stripes of the white glue all over the areas that are not colored. Add the glitter and you have some glittery packages which are beautiful wrapped. So when you're working with this one, you can add a lot of glitter for the finishing accents on this card. Within the Celebrate the Season collection, we have the Ornate Sleigh and Presents die, and this die coordinates with two stamp sets. The first one is the Ornate Sleigh, um, so you can see the Ornate Sleigh with the small poinsettia and holly leaves, and the other stamp it coordinates with is the Gift Wrapped Presents. Um, this is the one with the beautiful four gift packages along with some sentiments that are perfect for your Christmas card. So let's look at some beautiful samples. I loved all the different ways that you can utilize and put the sleigh onto your Christmas cards. So this is one just filled with packages onto the background of the Celebrate the Season paper collection. This one takes it to a completely different level. Um, just remember the samples I'm showing you right now are featured on the blog and in the gallery so you can see step-by-step -step instructions. Um, this specific card was um, decorated on the inside so it closes like this. Isn't that a fun way to feature that one? Um, let me see, I have another beautiful one. This is kind of ice blues with teals embellished with those beautiful poinsettias. And um, one thing I also wanted to show you with this shaped sleigh card is with the presents, there's a tag attached. So you can pull that apart and there's an insert where you can add a gift card to the back. So if you want to give gift cards this Christmas season, you can do that as well. Um, so within this collection, you also have the Celebrate the Season die, which has your ice skates, your gloves, a wreath, some holly, and poinsettias. And this is the coordinating stamp set. These images are absolutely darling. I love the versatility. Here's the ice skates all decorated up. And here's another way the uh, little mittens are used along with a card panel from within the Celebrate the Season paper collection. Here's another beautiful way to work with the mittens and the ice skates paired together. Um, I also love how you can use the little wreath, hang the little ice skates from the center, but don't just think about this wreath for Christmas. You can decorate it different ways to decorate it with the gate for different seasons. So this gate will open. That's a very iconic image within this collection. And um, that comes from the festive gate die and the festive gate stamp set. Um, so there's many different ways we have created projects with this one that I absolutely love. This is a smaller card where part of the gate is on this side. You open it up, you have a partial gate in here. Here the gate is decorated with presents along the bottom. Isn't that fun? You have the wreath and some more poinsettias along the top. And here the gate is popped up a little bit more in the center with a little bow from the All Glammed Up collection. And here we have another beautiful gate um, that really showcases that stamp very well. Um, I also wanted to show you a couple of my favorites. Here we have the sleigh with the little wreath and attached as a little favor. Isn't that beautiful with the chocolates in there? Um, and then we have this um, gate with the gloves and the ice skates paired with this window that was released from the Botanic Orchid die. So that not that um, really, really cute? Um, there's also one more sample I wanted to show you um, where we used the Botanic Orchid window, which is this one, and um, paired it with the scenes from the paper collection. The paper collection is absolutely stunning. You have the gorgeous lavenders, aquas, purples, and teals within this collection. You can see all the individual papers on our website, and these this color palette is absolutely stunning for your Christmas cards. 
Do yourself a favor and get started with your Christmas cards early this year so that when December rolls around, you can present your friends and family with these beautiful cards that will not only bring a smile to their face, but will make them go ooh and ah. So if you don't have the Celebrate the Season products yet, I've made it easy for you. You can just click the buttons below for quick and easy ordering so that you get yours very quickly and can get started with your Christmas cards right away. Thank you for watching today. I can't wait to see you next time. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure that you do that so you won't miss out on future videos. Bye!